Most people probably have heard that the British cracked the famous Enigma machine. Fewer will have heard that Sweden did the same thing in 1940, but for another cipher machine. The Siemens Halske T-52 Geheim Fernschreiber. The T-52 was a 100 kilo beast, used mostly with fixed telegraph lines. The size of the machine dictated what kind of information it was used for. Where Enigma machines handled mostly tactical information, because it was very small and portable, the T-52 would handle strategical diplomatic information. 9th of April 1940. Germany invades Denmark and Norway and Sweden are more or less caught by surprise. Soon thereafter, Germany demands the use of the telegraph lines running through Sweden between Norway and Denmark. Officially Sweden complains, but agrees, but in secret they celebrates and directly tap the lines. However, Sweden only gets encrypted information, which is useless unless you can decipher them. In comes Arne Berling, a mathematical genius who later in life will have the same office that Albert Einstein had at Princeton. Sitting in a partly condemned building at Karla Plan 4 in Stockholm, where the code breakers had been housed, he tried to crack the code. Using only pen and paper and the intercepted traffic from the 25th of May 1940, he spent two weeks and then cracked the code. He also designed a machine to do this automatically that was called an app. And he did all of this without actually having seen the machine or had any idea what the machine actually looked like, which is pretty amazing. Skip forward about a year and it's June 1941. Germany is massing troops around the Swedish borders, but Sweden does nothing. We don't really mobilize, we don't really take any action at all. Why is this? The reason is that we know that Germany is about to invade Soviet Union and not Sweden. We had intercepted a message that a woman called Birgit Asp was the first to read that stated that the German soldiers will get double pay when they enter Russia. So Sweden knew that uh, Germany was not about to invade Sweden, but they were going after the Soviet Union. All was well until 1942-43, when the Germans got suspicious regarding how well informed Sweden seemed to be. According to legend, a Finnish military attaché visiting Stockholm saw one of the deciphered telegrams and, being allied with the Germans, informed them. So the Germans started introducing new T-52 models and the early ones the Swedes could break but the later ones we could not. So after 1943 we couldn't really read any of that information. It should also be said that the security surrounding this operation was somewhat lacking. For example, one courier who was ferrying uh, decrypted telegrams was actually a Soviet spy. Which is okay in this time. But if there is a Soviet spy, one can imagine that the Germans had some spies lurking around also. So they might have found out that way. Åke Lundqvist, who was also working as a code breaker, once asked him how he did it. Arne replied, an illusionist never shows his tricks. And he never did. So actually how he did crack the codes we will never find out. But crack them, he did.